everybody. Let me give everybody a minute to uh, pop on here tonight. It's uh, one minute after six o'clock. Patty, hi Patty. Patty, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor and uh, pick a number between one and a hundred and eleven and post your number right there, okay, so I can see it, and that'll be relevant um, later on after the meditation, okay, so between 1 and 111, thank you. So, I want to thank everybody for showing up tonight, uh, it's Monday evening, I have no idea what the date is, 26th, 27th, 24th, 25th, I have no idea, it's Monday and I know that. And it is 94. Perfect. Hi, Kath. Totally awake. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> you won't be in a minute. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, 94. Good. Thank you, Tati. Um, so it is a short week for most of us here in the States as we're celebrating, or most of us are celebrating Thanksgiving on Thursday. And uh, getting together with family and friends, whatever that looks like, this year for you. Uh, hopefully you can get together with real life people or if not at least you can do a Zoom or a Skype or a phone call or, or something. Um, but everybody has something to be thankful for and grateful for and it doesn't take um, one day out of the year for us to realize that or at least it shouldn't. Um, so the introduction here is going to be brief because I want to give everybody a few minutes to think of three things that they are grateful for and have thanks for. And for some of you, it'd be like, really, only three? There's so many. And other of you may say, I've been struggling to think of one or two things at the moment. And it's okay. Um, wherever you are in that range, it's okay. So when you think of those three things that you're thankful for or grateful for, I want you to keep that in your mind and in your heart during the meditation tonight, okay? And kind of set set that as your meditation intention. It's a suggestion anyway. Um, so while you're thinking of those things, for those of you who don't know, my name is Karen, and I run the Firefly Within Foundation that brings uh, free events to the community. And Crystal Balls currently are live streaming, but we also do and this is every Monday night, and we also do a live crystal bowl meditation at our yoga place the second Friday of every month at 6 p.m., which is at Coconut Point Mall, and we project a galactic star show on the ceiling. It's really lovely. Um, some pretty profound healing is coming out of that um, as a direct effect of the crystal bowls. Um, so it's pretty powerful if you're open and willing to receive and uh, nothing less, it's at least very relaxing as tonight hopefully will be. And we are joined by Stan Nesmet, who is my dear, dear friend, who is currently in New Jersey. And he is a wonderful healer, um, channeling that universal energy to all of you tonight who are listening, even if you're listening to this recorded or on the YouTube channel you will still receive not only the energy of the bowls, but Stan's energy as well. So the way the night is going to go is um, we're going to take three deep breaths together. And maybe on each breath, um, in and out, you can think of, you know, assign one thing that you're thankful for to each of those breaths, um, just to kind of set that uh, in your heart space. And then I'm going to read a prayer from the Prayers to the Seven Sacred Flames prayer book, and I'm going to continue with the prayers for healing, um, since my dog is still on a healing journey, uh, so I'm going to set my intention for her tonight, and you can set your intention as well as you listen to the prayer for your own healing or anybody else's healing who you know is in need. After that, uh, play the crystal balls for about 20 minutes or so, and then I am going to draw a card from the Archangel Oracle deck and uh, read a message of grace. Uh, and Patty, that's why I needed the number. There's 111 messages from this new book. Um, I guess I'll show it to you now. It's messages of grace, if you can all see it. 
looks like it's kind of hard to see, um, but it's written by Anna Grace Taylor and it just came out. And uh, when you think of a number, you can go in here and read that message or you can just open it up anywhere in the book and read the message. Um, but since uh, I asked Patty to, to pull that one, that's the message that we are going to read tonight for for everybody. So Patty, I'm sure it's going to resonate with you, hopefully, um, or at least somebody you know, and for the rest of us as well. So if you are seated in your chair, uh, or if you're lying down, it doesn't matter where you are, but if you are seated in a chair, you want to, um, oh, and I will briefly tell you that I have the windows open tonight because it's so beautiful out, so you may occasionally hear a car or something go by. Um, it's just all part of the experience, okay? So as you're sitting in your chair, uh, you want to put your feet flat on the floor if that's comfortable and palms uh, face up in your lap. Again, if it's comfortable, you don't want to be stiff or be in a position that's going to cause you stress. Um, but if you do want to be in a receiving position, that's a very good one. So as you're sitting there, you want to close your eyes. I'm going to invite you to do that just to help kind of draw the experience in. And on each breath in, we're going to breathe in through the nose, a little deeper and slower than you normally would, and out through the mouth. So maybe on the count of four or five, and on the count of five or six. But you'll go at your own pace. So if it's different than what I'm calling out, that's okay. Just go at your own pace. We'll do this three times. Okay, ready? So we're going to take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. You can continue with that deep breathing or you can return to your normal breath but I invite you to keep your eyes closed. This is an invocation to the flame of healing. Beloved I am presence, beloved angels of the healing flame, beloved Mother Mary and Archangel Raphael, beloved Hilarion and all beings of light serving on the ray of healing. I come now before the flame to request healing in God's name. I stand with my God presence to be liberated and healed from all physical burdens through thy healing light and love. I also ask to be healed from all etheric scars, mental and emotional traumas from this life and from the past. Flame of healing of purest green, bless my form and make me whole. For comfort into my soul and enlightenment into my mind, I am God's perfection manifest in body, mind, and soul. I am God's healing light flowing to make me whole. I am the master presence charging all my bodies with love. Beloved God presence, as I transform my consciousness, let heaven's perfection manifest in my daily life. Send the ray of healing upon my soul. I am Christ's presence, charging me with thy radiant healing light until I become that full manifestation of that light. Beloved I am, beloved I am, beloved I am.
you can start to make some subtle movements. Maybe you had your eyes closed, you want to keep them closed for a little bit longer. Go back and think of those three things that you are grateful for, or more if you thought of them on. You can add that you are grateful to yourself for giving yourself this little window of time during the week to rest and reset. Especially if there's going to be traveling or gatherings or a busy time later this weekend. It's good to get grounded and set. <laughs> so from Archangel Jophiel, this one has come up before, clear your space. It says get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you and use Feng Shui. And Feng Shui is a Chinese art of creating your surroundings so you are in a natural flow with them and it is not uh, disharmonic to you, uh, creating a very harmonious environment. It's beautiful, beautiful angel. Um, this can be especially good since we may be having people coming over. Um, or we have that extra long four-day weekend, what are we going to do with it? Can't go anywhere. Clear your space because your space around you is actually a direct reflection of what's going on inside of you. Um, and they say particularly take a look at your cell phone. If your cell phone is, is all cracked and beat up and falling apart and chipped, <laughs> Is that in some way reflecting your internal state? Um, and if they say, you know, you can look at that, but you can also look at the inside of somebody's car. Um, how neat and tidy is that? Or their true telltale sign is their bedroom. Um, I've never tested this theory out on anybody, but... Um, so take a look around, and if your phone is all cracked, your car is needing a cleaning, your bedroom is all cluttered, your clothes stacked everywhere, um, start there and start organizing and cleaning those spaces and take care of that cell phone, get that fixed. Um, it may sound like a silly little thing, but it really does make a big impact on the energy that is around you, and that energy around you is going to affect you. Um, Try it, you'll see what I mean. So here, I asked Patty to choose a number earlier between 1 and 111, and she chose 94. So this is a message from Messages of Grace, 111 notes of love and guidance from your angels. It's written by um, Anna Grace Taylor, and um, I've had several readings from her. I follow her quite closely. We've had a lot of beautiful um, email correspondence back and forth. She's just a beautiful soul, and she just came out with this book, um, and it's beautiful. So number 94, this is what it says. This is a message from your angels. We have deep compassion for your struggles, and we are here with you through them all. However, we see far beyond your pain, your mistakes, your worries, and your fears. We hold the highest vision for you always. The same miracles and the same mysterious, wondrous beauty that led you to this moment made you who you are, and it will continue to carry you through no matter what happens. It says, we love you, your angels. So, wow, it's such a beautiful message. So thank you for pulling that, Patty. Patty again, yeah. So it's saying that the angels have been there always and they know what's coming and they know that basically you've, you've gotten through everything so far and made you the beautiful person that you are right now. And if you are going through some struggles or some trials and tribulations and you think that it's never going to end or this year is never going to end, um, they see a different story. They see that it is it is going to end. And you know what? I think I hear Amos, which we haven't seen him in a while. Hold on one second. Let me see if he'll come in. 
Everybody wants to see you because they haven't seen you in a while. So, speaking of angels, <laughs> speaking of angels, um, Amos, everybody. So they were beautiful messages to take care of our space, take care of the space around us, um, declutter all of that. So we feel good. We feel that we are in a place of harmony and beauty because that is going to reflect back on our energy. And also, that if we are going through anything um, right now, the angels are not only there with you, but they can see how beautiful things are going to be um, soon. So stick with them and have faith. Um, don't despair, have hope, have faith, have joy, have happiness. And everything is going to work out just great. So everybody have a beautiful week. Happy Thanksgiving to all. And we'll see you back here on... It was the turn this off. We'll see you back here next Monday. Want to say bye? We'll see you later. Okay. Yes, excuse me. Technical difficulties. Hold on. So beautiful. You're so beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, my good friend. Thank you for that. My goodness, that was such a nice, nice rub. Yeah, that was such a nice, nice rub.